Aloha everyone, what's going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we'll be talking about an overhaul to the achievement system. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Alright guys, this is information coming from Jagex's latest live stream. They took a brief 20 minutes or so in the beginning of the live stream to talk about an upcoming update to the achievement system. If all goes well, this is expected to come out next week monday so a bit of background information mod ashers is J Mod that was working on this since last christmas and his work is to convert all of rs achievements over to an engine cache format the format itself was developed by mod genesis an engine developer for jx now mod ashers has also done months of engine work to extend the achievement engine to support all the features that the system requires as well as adapting the achievement interface to work with the new formats so first thing i want to answer is why are they even doing this first and foremost the achievement library that we currently have in runescape which is the totality of all achievements is nearly 3,000 different achievements and ever expanding. That includes a wide variety of unique and process intensive unlock conditions, which ultimately becomes a very costly script to run, mainly due to the sheer amount of data that needs to be processed at any one given time. And it's gotten to the point where some of you may have noticed that even simply opening the achievement diary or the achievement tab could cause an entire crash to your clients. This will only get exacerbated as they continue to add more and more achievements and in fact has actually made them shy of releasing more achievements in general. It's likely if this problem didn't exist, when new updates come out, we probably would have gotten even more achievements than what we currently do have. So that's a big reason why this entire overhaul needed to happen. So speaking of that overhaul, what has actually been changed? As I alluded to earlier, they're converting all of the achievements to engine side caching. All of the data structures will now be pre-cached and interpreted by the engine. This is far more efficient than the RuneScript processing, which is RuneScape's proprietary coding language, if you did not know, which has ultimately set them back in a lot of different ways. They talk about spaghetti code many times over and over, and it's become a meme at this point, but RuneScript is something that the Gower brothers created when they invented RuneScape, and by and large has worked for a lot of different reasons, but in the modern times with modern coding languages and the way developers make games, RuneScript is by no means the most efficient. So it's ultimately good that they are trying to navigate away from it. Having said that, the possibility of more achievements in the future and eliminating the crashes that happen when you open the interface, this overhaul is also much better for Jagex's side, mainly because the new system makes it much easier to create new achievements with a much lower risk of something going wrong. In addition, it also frees them up from being dangerously close to reaching any achievement limits. As I said earlier, we're nearing 3,000 achievements and it's already becoming a problem for some players. So the new system completely eliminates that worry altogether. Anyways, with this overhaul, every single achievement has had to been recreated from scratch, which is why ultimately Mod Ashers was working on this since last Christmas. Most of the work that we're going to be seeing with this update is going to be highly unnoticed by the player base. So it's not the most exciting in terms of what we're going to experience, but does mean good things going forward. Despite that though, there are some subtle differences you might pick up on with this update. Most notably, they've rearranged the achievements to be far more user friendly and intuitive. One of the changes is that achievements cannot be found in two different places. So any one given achievement has one specific location where you can find it and you'll know exactly where to look if you're after a certain achievement. They've also added additional categories. There's now one specific for the area achievement diaries, which is separated by difficulty and area. This has branched away from the exploration tab, which now houses any type of achievements associated with areas that are not coupled with an achievement diary. Speaking of achievement diaries, they did say on stream that there is no 
current plans and no foreseeable plans to add any new achievement diaries as they have filled out pretty much every player worn slot so that is something worth noting. Speaking of new tabs we now have a dedicated lore tab this is basically in place of the current Master Quest Cape subcategory which has been eliminated with this update. Here in the Lord tab, you're going to find things like, you know, your mini quests, your lore books, things like your sagas and post quest content, all tracked in one convenient location. Moving on to combat, this has been categorized by difficulty. This will start with Wars Retreat achievements and end all the way down with Final Boss achievements to give you a sense of progression as, you know, the difficulty ramps up. And they said that the player made PVM encyclopedia is what has been used to determine the boss difficulty when organizing this particular tab. Another thing you'll notice, albeit a very small change, is the hide completed achievements checkbox. This has basically just been renamed to the show completed and it doesn't really change much except for the terminology and obviously whether you have it checked on and off will have the opposite effect than what it does now. Another thing you're going to notice is that there are seemingly significantly more achievements in the listing after this update. They actually have not added any new achievements whatsoever with this update, but currently there are a ton of hidden achievements and this will now show them all. If you're somebody who is concerned, even though they're showing these hidden achievements, they're not going to be revealing whatsoever what the hidden achievements are though. You're only going to get the title of the achievement and it'll say something along the lines of play more RuneScape to unlock this achievement. That way if you like the mystery of hidden achievements, it won't be ruined for you and if you do want to know what they are, you know the title of the achievement so you can just check it out on the wiki. Also while we're talking about hiding and unhiding achievements, if you have opted to hide your achievements, any subcategories that you have fully completed will also be hidden with this update. Which is nice if you're somebody who just wants to see the achievements that you have yet to complete, it will declutter that list for you by eliminating entire subcategories. Moving on with the overhaul, there is one small step back with specifically the grace period section. Subcategories, unfortunately, it had to have been removed with this, but it is something that they are looking to add in the future. In a similar vein, the full comparison button is also going to be disabled. It currently isn't even really working properly, but it's something that they're also trying to work on and will be back to full function at a later date. Now the final thing I want to touch on before we end this video is, since there are no duplicates in the listing as I mentioned earlier in the video, each achievement has one specific location and cannot be found elsewhere, this means that you're going to get a more accurate rune score. Unfortunately the way it works now since there are duplicates here and there, there's a chance that your rune score might be a little bit inflated. So when they make this change on Monday, if all goes well, there's a reasonable chance that your rune score will change and go down a little bit. If you are worried, however, Mod Porky has said on stream that this will not affect your high scores. For the rune score high scores, your spot will remain as is. So at least there's some solace there. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this update. Let me know what you guys think about the new achievements overhaul down in the comments below. Love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha.